where it's almost like we're backpedaling and trying to forward pedal at the same time. Now you can't tell the believers from the unbelievers. Now there is no difference. And I guess I'm just not understanding how pastors can allow people to parade in their churches looking like that. I've never seen in this hour so many women that are Christians and you're, you are in service, in the service of the Lord, ministering the gospel with your cleavage all the way down here where I can see the crack of your breast. Something has gone wrong. Oh, I know the Bible said we come into the body of Christ as babes. I know we, we, we use the terminology, people, that we ought to come as we are. But why is it that we're coming as we are, but we're staying as we are? That skirts are so tight and so short until half of your thighs are out and you're ministering. And I can't even, I can't even get to the concept of somebody preaching and leading praise and worship with no stockings on, with thongy, stringy shoes on, and your legs all greased up. What kind of message are you trying to send us? Because to me, that looked like somebody that's got a whole spirit that ain't purged out in God, and any minute you can just go over in a corner to a deacon and just raise your dress up and hit it right there in the corner because you don't even have drawers up. You got on thongs and some greasy legs and a bip bop skirt and you are our praise and worship leader. Something is, is absolutely positively wrong with that. And then we wonder why there was so much sexual promiscuity in the body of Christ. And I'm not saying that you gotta be like an old fogey woman because I love to look beautiful. But there's a time and a place for it all. And Sunday morning service is not a time for you to show us your nipples in your titties. Where is your bra? How are you coming to church on a Sunday morning to worship God and you have no bra on, no underwear on? Okay, so we don't wear girdles no more. But have you ever heard of Spanx that keeps you from jiggling like that? And then you won't sit down. You're the person that just won't sit down because you think you're cute. I get so sick and tired of going up and down my Facebook line. And I'm going to tell you right now, when I see pictures like that, I'm going to delete you as my friend. I'm going to block you. For some reason, the women of God in this hour don't want to put on clothes. And I don't know why. Because we finally got enough money to buy titties. And now everything you wear got to be tight, got to be sexy. Sex appeal is on an all-time high. Not worship, not brokenness, not Lord, here I am. Not God purge me and cleanse me. Where is the scripture that says that women ought to dress in modest apparel with shame face? We're not shame anymore. And there's something wrong when the Holy Ghost in you don't ever say to you, that's too tight. How is it that you don't think it's too tight when it's so tight in the front that you can actually see the print of your vagina? Really, y'all, come on. And it hurts. It hurts because we're the Christians. It hurts. And we're the Christians and we looking like hoes. And we done went body con crazy. Everything is a body con dress. Are y'all serious? You the women of God and you and you taking pictures with your shoulder all out like this and you and, and you the woman of God? You the woman of God and your your chest is all the way down here on Facebook. I don't care if you ain't in church. Who takes a picture like that? Because you're confusing us. Because one minute you want to give us the word of the Lord. And one minute you want to tell us what God is saying. And one minute you want to prophesy. And the next minute we see you taking an all out sex picture. And a selfie of yourself. I don't care if my spiritual daughters did just disown me. You could unfriend me. You could say whatever you want to say. Because you know what? I didn't sign up for a hoe as a daughter in the first place. So you won't offend me. Get on somewhere with that. Because if we don't raise a standard in the body of Christ, then where in the world are we going? And I don't care what nobody said. Well, you know what? It, 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 it ain't, it ain't what's, what you wear is what's in your heart. What, what's in your heart is testifying. The way you look testifies of what's in your heart. And you think that's how you're going to find a man? Do you think a real man of God won't you? Because if that's what it took,
to turn him on to you, there's another girl out there that look way better than you.